the most important one, FY19. Now, the sun audit at the base layer links will close down in County 4, and we usually don't have any audit entries. So, your fund balance grows $3 million, and now you're at 4.55 months worth of reserve. So, that's, that's great. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and you, yeah, there was there was a revenue stream in last year that not necessarily beat. I'll just put it that way. Um, but it's good to have that kind of you know you call that your financial strength. That's the key factor right there. And even and that was even with general fund expenditures going up. Um, so. But it still came out very well, but some of that was due to one time revenue. Your health expenditures actually went down, which was great. Um, I, would, I would say that it'll stay between six, six and a half to eight million, because it looks like it's starting to play in that area. I have no clue how it could have possibly gone out of 3.7 2016. This is um, this item <coughs> of your long range evaluation of the state of the If you have read lately anything concerning private industry as well as other state, local, and federal government, the issue related to being able to fully fund projected retirement. Increase in health care costs is absolutely at a critical stage somewhere, uh, more than critical if it is. Uh, and we are very conscious of that. This is something that we keep trying to keep an eye on continually. It is not something that you see direct impact on necessarily.
table a contractor who's actually a pharmacist and he has a business now and he contracts with self-insured plans like what we have and, and all he does is audit pharmaceuticals and so it is a situation where of course as Harrison said you know the providers pick and it's kind of Whatever the newest is, I mean, there's still a lot of marketing that goes on with that. We see all the advertisements on TV. So people walk into the doctor's office asking for whatever they've seen advertised on TV because keeping patients is so competitive. A lot of times physicians will you know, try to go that route first. But <clears throat> what our contractor does is they go through our pharmaceuticals every single month. And if there are um, generic or formulary options, that um, are much cheaper. He looks at what the cost of the plan is and also what the cost of the employees is, and we are managing those on an employee per employee basis. Now, there are some exceptions. There are side effects, and sometimes people can't change from what they have. So it doesn't mean that they have to. It's very important that we provide the level of care that our employees need, but we are very aggressive on making sure that they start with what the, the cheaper drug is and then we work our way up to more expensive. Um, there's also, you guys have heard of the, the miracle drugs and things like the hepatitis treatment now. You know, there used to be no treatment for that. And now there's a free pill treatment that costs about $75,000 per treatment um, that's supposed to take care of that. Um, we work very aggressively on those things too to make sure that they're needed and at what level. So we do have someone, it's not a situation where Oh my gosh, because everyone's Rx is going through the roof, we're just going to be satisfied with ours doing that too. We are aggressively managing that. Well, I think what's positive about the, on that is that typically, Mr. we like to see 120 days, um, and we're at 136.5 right now. So I mean, that's very positive. We have, as you can see, been kind of borderline with it. Um, and have been some at some moments when I would ask we would be actually short, mm -hmm. but uh, that's what that's good news. So, again, <coughs> that, we appreciate y'all's effort on that. I know it's not easy to get there, and it, you have to be frugal as much as anything, and, and then hope that others are frugal as well in your <coughs> efforts to be able to do that. But it's extremely important. That, that fund balance stay strong. Here's, uh, on the next page, there's some demographics.